guys, it's Georgia from Georgia's Cakes and today I'm going to show you how to make a simple sugar syrup. Now this is what you soak cakes in once they're cooked to keep it nice and moist. And you may be thinking, what is this fancy sugar syrup that I need to start creating? But I promise you, it's super simple and it really makes a difference between a dry cake and a moist cake. So I really recommend it. And all you need is some hot water and sugar and it's the equal amounts. So what could be easier? So I have in a heat proof container, 300 grams of caster sugar. This is because I do a lot of cakes over the weekend, so I make a large amount at one time, but you can literally do 50 grams of sugar, 50 grams of water if you're just doing one cake. And what I'm gonna do is put this directly on the scales, and I'm going to pour in freshly boiled water over the sugar, and it's going to melt the sugar. And because there's 300 grams of caster sugar, I'm going in with 300 grams of water. Just in case you're thinking I've never weighed water, grams and milliliters are the same. So you could do this on the scales. And all I'm going to do is now move the sugar around to make sure it's all dissolved. So into this, I'm going to put a small dash of vanilla paste just to enhance flavors. I usually use this in all my cakes, so it just continues that vanilla flavor going through it. Straighten, you don't really have to measure this as well because you're only using a small amount. I'm going to mix that through. And that is really how simple the sugar syrup is. Now you can flavor it. You can put some lemon juice in, which I'll do in a bit to show you. You can even put some alcohol in if you're over 18, of course, and feeling a little bit adventurous. But before you do that, just make sure it's completely cool because it can burn off the alcohol. Now I'm going to wait until that's completely cooled down before I go to the next stage. So I've got my sponge cakes that are ready to be soaked in sugar syrup. Now you can do this just by applying it with a pastry brush and brushing it over the top. Now the only issue is that some brushes release the bristles and you end up getting hair on your cake. And I don't know about you, but I don't really like hair on my cake. So I've got a really clever way how to prevent that, but still get an even coating of sugar syrup. So the sugar syrup is nice and cool. And I've got an old juice bottle that I've washed out and cleaned and I've kept the lid as well. And the idea is that we're going to fill the juice bottle up with the syrup and create an almost shower effect with the lid. So with the lid, I've got a drawing pin or you can use any sharp point you want. I'm just going to poke holes in the lid to create an almost shower that the sugar syrup can fall through. So just do an even amount, just poking them through. You probably want about 10 to 15 holes in there. So there you can see I've poked all the holes through and now I'm going to fill the bottle up with the sugar syrup and fasten the lid nice and tight and now we're ready to soak. So all you need to do is sprinkle the sugar syrup around the cakes to get an even coating. And it really is that simple. And now these cakes are ready to be decorated. And I'm just gonna show you that if you wanted to add some flavor, it's really simple too. So I'm just simply going to juice a lemon into a jug. And if you're making a lemon drizzle cake, this is the real syrup you wanna be sprinkling over really, really intensifies it. And the juice can go straight into the bottle. You don't need to worry about pips because the holes in the lid will catch them. Genius, I know. <laughs> Give it a little swirl around to mix in the lemon and it can go straight onto the cakes. There you have it, my super simple sugar syrup for soaking cakes. There's a lot of alliteration for you. Um, thank you so much for watching this video. If you head to my channel, subscribe, like, and comment, and there'll be loads more hacks and tricks that you can get to, which are great for cake making especially. If you don't already, go to my Instagram and give me a follow at George's Cakes and check out all my creations and even create your own things and tag me and I will feature you if they are that good. So give it a go. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you next time.